Welcome everybody back to LearnWire. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a new video. Just got back from vacation. We did a little bit of camping. I've been working on my floors, uh, my flooring at my house, um, doing about 1700 square feet of laminate flooring. That is uh, definitely a project. And so uh, I have not had time to get a, put any new videos out. So uh, thank you guys for being patient. I know there's a lot of requests for new videos and some a lot of comparison videos where we're taking one software and then putting it up against another. So you guys can take a look at some of the different comparisons um, of the different softwares. Another one I think someone uh, wants me to go with is uh, writer coming up with a process of how we could use writer zen and word uh, hero and then also another one where we could use word hero because i know I, there's a lot of you that have um, word hero uh, which is a good ai content um, creator and you get unlimited right and there's not really any uh, other softwares out there that are giving you unlimited um, on a lifetime deal um, and then uh, that the new software that came out uh, neuro writer which is a content optimizer uh, so Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the video, uh, to the channel because I will be coming out with more videos like that soon. Um, I do want to do a Word Hero and a uh, Neuro uh, Neuron Writer um, workflow for you guys. Just kind of how I would go about using both softwares together. So let's jump into today's video. Uh, this one was a top request. Um, this is Wordplay versus Article Forge. They're both very very similar uh, products. And uh, obviously, Article Forge was first to the market. They've been out for years and they've been around. Uh, they're much more seasoned software. I can tell you that much. Wordplay is new to the game. And so we're going to go and look at both of these. Uh, they're both very similar as, as far as you can put in a keyword or a your title or whatever you're going for that you want the software to create uh, a long form content on. And the software will go out and create an entire long form article for you. Um, so we're going to uh, just kind of test its um, quality, speed, uh, pricing and features. Let's jump into pricing real quick. Now, here's something really weird, guys. Um, if we go over to AppSumo right now, OK, uh, I didn't get any kind of warning. Um, I didn't also didn't see any kind of countdown uh, you guys can comment below if you guys saw this on a countdown um, I, again I haven't been uh, paying attention the last week so maybe they did do a, a countdown but I'm sure surprised that word uh, play is nowhere to be seen on AppSumo look word play uh, it's nowhere to be seen on AppSumo if we if we also go to my uh, word play review and click on my affiliate link right over here it's going to take us to a 404. Uh, the the it, they're just gone. They're up and gone off of AppSumo. I actually don't even. You usually can see an indexed page. Something happened, guys. So, uh, word play uh, lifetime deal. If you type that in in Google, you should be able to uh, see. Hmm. Uh, right here, I'm going to right click that. It's it's indexed in Google. And they've completely de-indexed. So AppSumo is not allowing this page to even be seen at all. Uh, usually what they do, what AppSumo does is they actually, um, they will actually keep the, the indexed page and it'll say offer not available anymore, right? So I'm going to come through here and just really interesting. It sound, it looks like wordplay might, let's go over here. Like they might be offering a lifetime deal and maybe they are on Facebook and doing their own ads. And this is against, um, some somehow against the terms of service that they worked out, I think with, um, with AppSumo. So something weird's going on guys. Looks like there is some type of lifetime deal. If you do your research and come through here, you could go and uh, pick up a lifetime deal directly. And it is different. This is 8,000 words for 99. I know you, some of you that already picked up the deal, you're going to be, uh, uh, you're going to be ticked off, right? Because it looks like they're giving a little bit more. Yep. They're giving a thousand words more than they were on the other, um, on the AppSumo deal. Um, and this is what you get when you actually do a deep dive and do your research, right guys. Um, and right now I can just tell you <clears throat> that wordplay and some of the fishy things that they've done since they launched their software, you know, I was never impressed with the pricing and the speed and all kinds of stuff. So, um, 
the fact that, it, it, I mean, I'm just going to say it looks like they were booted off because like I said, you can find a lot of other deals that I'm um, still say not available anymore. They usually 99% of the time, AppSumo will keep the page indexed. If you do a Google search and you can see, like I just did, there is a page here, but it's no longer on AppSumo. You can't um, actually go and check this out. So Google still has it like, you know, the snippet is indexed right here, but the actual page is now blocked. And that would be something that AppSumo would control. So I think that there, I'm just going to go out and make a guess that um, WordPlay was doing something uh, against their terms of service of uh, their agreement of, of, of launching on AppSumo. And here you have it. Here's the, here's a new one. If you do your research. So, um, that's just one thing that I think is not, um, and you can pay them a thousand dollars if you want a hundred thousand words per month. So, um, we're going to scroll up here and get through uh, a comparison guys, but I just wanted to, um, let you guys know kind of that that is, and th that wasn't the intention of this video. I wanted to just jump in guys, but before I started this video, I went out and just to, I always pull up the offers on AppSumo and when I couldn't find it and you know, a few days ago it was on here, I didn't see no countdown. I didn't get any kind of notification. And then now I'm getting emails to, from WordPlay because I am subscribed to them right now. Um, just for you guys, I'm, I'm subscribed to a software that I don't like, or I don't favor and I don't recommend. Um, but I'm subscribed to them because I wanted to bring that value to you guys. Um, so you guys can see what you're going to get when you go with WordPlay. Um, a, a lot of uh, movement, a lot of changes. It doesn't seem like they uh, came to market with a good marketing plan and with a good solid foundation. They keep changing things. They keep changing prices. They have a really high price. The speed was horrible last time. You guys can go check out my full WordPlay review. Um, and so those are the things you don't want in a company, right? But they are displaying all their five-star reviews. Huh? Um, and so when I was going to come in here and do this uh, demo for you guys right away, um, I was just very surprised to see that they were, uh, they're already taken off and it looks like they were booted off AppSumo. Um, but we're going to go through and let's see if we can find, um, okay. So here is WordPlay's pricing, current pricing. And uh, if you correct me if I'm wrong, go back and watch my review video. But I think that um, someone was telling me that they already changed their plans. They've already changed their uh, pricing. Um, they, and maybe, I don't know, that actually looks pretty normal of what they had. But someone was saying that they um, changed their pricing um, by $10 or something like that. Now, uh, if we're going to uh, look at the pricing and compare pricing, I'm going to go over here to our um, article forge article forge. We're going to look at just the monthlies to be fair. Um, it goes really cheap. Uh, if you go with a yearly plan with article forge, um, you can get unlimited for $57 a month. You multiply that. It's like $350 a year or something like that. And you have your, your, your golden, you can use it as much as you want. Pretty awesome stuff. So monthly at 250,000 words, $57 a month. Okay. We come back over here um, to the pricing on WordPlay and we are on the monthly um, to get 50,000 words or wait, 50,000 words is $49 a month, but this is the best comparison, right? So 250,000 words per month on article forge and for almost that same price, I'm going to say almost, you only get 50,000 words, right? So what is that? Um, 50. 100, 150, 250. So you get five times the amount of content, five times the amount of um, allowed content on Article Forge that you're going, then um, WordPlay. Okay. So I watched somebody else's and not to, you know, cut down anybody, and I'm not going to name any names, but I watched another uh, fellow YouTuber that did an exact review on WordPlay versus Article Forge. And they favored WordPlay. Um, the, uh, apparently they, the article was fast for them during that time. And they also gave them the upper hand on pricing, uh, because at the time that they did their video if, about five days ago, there was a lifetime deal on AppSumo. Uh, but even with the lifetime deal, I think WordPlay's pricing is terrible, right? We saw what their lifetime deal pricing was and we saw, um, on Google or we saw on their site over here, what their pricing is. It's pretty bad when you look at the pricing. Where is it? Um, you know, you get 8,000 words for a hundred dollars. 
a lot of places are giving you, you know, 50,000, 70,000 words for that kind of price. They want you to pay $1,000 right here for 100,000 words per month. I've picked up so many lifetime deals of high quality AI writers um, for about $80 um, for that for for 100,000 words per month. So um, I think that their pricing is garbage and it's not. It, they do not have the upper hand. Article Forge has way better pricing. And you can just look over here that if you go with an annual plan, you can have unlimited content. We take a calculator out real quick and you go uh, 57 times 12. Okay, so $684, you would have unlimited content. And like if you go with Jasper and you want this kind of content, I mean, you'd be paying two or $3,000 a year. So that's what I look at with pricing, right? And you probably don't need more than 250,000 words per month. So if you took the $27 times 12, then now you're looking at $324 and you pretty much have unlimited content, right? Uh, so that takes care of the pricing. I mean, if I come back over here, uh, pricing, I'm not going to give scores. I'm just going to say uh, that article forge wins for sure. Okay. All right. So let's go in and log in real quick. Wordplay. We're going to go create content and they do have a sim very simplistic, um, a very clean, sim simplistic interface. Um, Looks like I have 30,000 words remaining at my 50,000. That's kind of, uh, coming up pretty soon. Uh, but um, it could so you could argue that this is too simplistic and that they don't really have a whole lot of features. Um, we're going to go in and let's see right over here. I'm going to go in to my keyword research tool and find another article that I need written. Um, how to make money as a gamer. I'm going to copy this. We're going to use this in our demo. Um, we're going to go into... I'm going to go ahead and close that out right there. And I'm going to close out the pricing as well since we're done with that. And we're going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and sign in to Article Forge as well. So let's go in here and we're going to go with the AI mode. And that's what we're going to test out today. Now, remember, you can go watch my review on WordPlay. You do have the option to create a new article right here and you can add sections. So you'd put your title in right here. Where is the other section. So it looks like they changed it. You may now enter up to 12 subheadings to create even longer articles. So they did make that is that is a, um, a, a definitely a, a step in the right direction. So they the, you used to have to push a button right here. And it was actually, when you really think about it, um, more steps and more clicks. So they have simplified this even more. And so I will give them credit for that for um, improving some of the improving uh, their, their system. Um, so article title to help the AI return the best content, supply a descriptive title and article sections in the intent, uh, as opposed to solely a keyword. For example, what are the top benefits of hiring an electrician for your home? We'll give the AI a better indicator of intent than electrician. Absolutely. The more descriptive, the better. So you could put in the title right here. And then if you went out and have all your set, uh, subheadings, right, already researched and stuff, you could use all those other optimization research tools and then grab what, it, um, you know, grab those subheadings and you can throw them in here. Now you can go up to 12. I really like that. They're, they're going past the eight. So this might, uh, we got, we got to look, I haven't been into article forge in a while. We're going to go check out article forge and see how many you can go. So they might get the upper hand on that, but you would just write in your, um, H uh, two, you're not, you're at your next H2, your next H2 and so forth. Right. But in this case, we're going to do some comparisons just for this mode, AI mode. I'm going to put in the title here and I'm just going to call out the same thing and the same thing. And then we're going to say submit, submit for an estimated, uh, 1000 words. So it looks like it's going to, okay. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let me look in here. So it looks like we, only have they're only going to do around a, a thousand to 1200 words per article if you do use the ai mode um i think you had the uh, control over that last time you could actually yep they had a drop down last time i remember they had a drop down where you could select if you wanted it to be a 500 word 700 word a thousand word or something like that 1500 word right now they've taken that away so they've taken something away from the software and they're just going to give you a thousand words on these ones right here but we're going to say submit here confirm Let's go over to Article Forge real, real quick, guys. And you can see right now it's 9, 12 a.m. Let's see, you know, in my last two tests, right, it took uh, uh, over an hour one time for it to create any content for me. Um, and so I don't know how you can give uh, WordPlay speed over uh, Article Forge. 
Um, but let's come back. We'll come back and it looks like it, it just now got done created. So that was very, very fast. They um, are fixing some of their um, the issues with the software. Uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. So it did do it in like 30 seconds. That's very, very fast. So you have to re you have to kind of look at this from different lenses because I've been uh, looking at wordplay since the day it came out, right? And they really struggled their first month um, on the platform. They really struggled. Um, with their bandwidth and their server. They couldn't figure that out um, for it to take over an hour to create an article for you. Very frustrating for paying customers, but it looks like they've got that sorted out. It looks like uh, it just created an article for us in like 20 seconds. Pretty impressive right there. Let's come back over. So even though I don't really like the software and I don't have a whole lot of good things to say about it, I still will admit when they have, they are heading in the right direction. They did fix some things. That's great. We will come in here to Article Forge now. Article Forge is more seasoned. You are going to get all the options. They now have the very long article right here, and we're actually going to go with that on this one. I'm going to put in the, the topic right here and let it go to town and see what it can do for us. It's going to do take care of this, um, the titles. It's So you're going to get more customization in here. And they have post schedule, WordPress. Um, you can connect your WordPress um, with uh, with Article Forge and have it automatically. You can build an auto blog with Article, Article Forge, API, all kinds of good stuff. We're going to come through here. Um, we're going to let it do all the section headings and everything for us. We don't need an image, but you can add, have it go out and find an image for you. It can go out and find a YouTube video to post in your content as well. You can replace your keywords with links, post to your WordPress blog. blog. Um, you click that on, it's just going to ask what blog. If you have multiple, um, if you have multiple connected with Article Forge, you'll select that, and then you can also do article spinning. I don't do it. You don't need it to do any article spinning because the, the content is unique. Um, so we just have that very simple. But I am going to choose the long form one, and we're going to say create new article. It's going to go out and start creating, and then uh, right here you will see that this will go across. So that was nine fourteen. Um, we'll go back. We'll come back to this. Um, I imagine this will take probably five minutes, but actually it's going pretty fast here. Uh, you can see how fast this is going as well. Um, and we're going to go back and look at the content over here, how to make money as a gamer. We're going to click on this in WordPlay and we can go preview. So here's what we got, how to make money as a gamer. Gaming is a popular hobby these days. In fact, uh, it's one of the most popular hobbies in the world. There are so many gaming platforms you can choose from video games, blah, blah, blah. With more and more gamers starting to make money from their gaming hobbies than ever before. It's a great time to be a gamer if you have a love or virtual world, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here's how you can start making money as a gamer too. So I like that. It's good. Staying on point. It did a nice intro paragraph and then it ends and wraps up and says, here's what we're basically going to talk about. So what you can earn as a gamer, you can make a lot of money as a gamer. For instance, the average revenue for an EA sports uh, player is 78,500 per year. If you're interested in becoming EA sports, that's cool. Kind of wish that it would talk about YouTube right here. Cause if it would talk about YouTube, uh, YouTubers that just post videos about games and stuff, um, really, do uh do well as well i i would imagine that there's gamers on youtube making um, far more than a hundred thousand dollars a year uh, the skills needed to be a successful gamer you don't need to be a pro gamer to make good money but you do need the right skill set the most important skill needed successful successful gamer is the ability to focus blah 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 um so not bad how to start playing games currently earning money and tips for playing games currently not earning money. Uh, tips for playing games currently not earning money. Not really sure what that means. Currently earning money and currently not earning money. I'm not really sure what those mean. And then it does a conclusion. And they probably, I don't know if they did a conclusion in my last. Again, go and rewatch my re, my original review of Wordplay. It's very in-depth. And you can see where they were at like a, mo a month ago or three weeks ago. I don't think that they did conclusions. And I had mentioned in my review that they weren't doing, that, that it would be nice if they did a conclusion. And here they are, they do have a conclusion. I like that, how it's wrapping everything up. A nice conclusion. How many words is this? I'm gonna go like that, right click, and huh, my extension over this overlay is not working. I have an extension that checks keywords, but it must not work on the overlay. So I've got to go and get Microsoft Word out real quick. It would be nice if they just had a little thing right here that just says how many words the content is. 
fresh document, paste that in, and we're at 738 words. It's supposed to do a thousand words for us, and it did 738 words. You guys be the judge. Let's go back to Article Forge. Article Forge is almost done. It's been four minutes. We are almost done, and I will push pause. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this was done about five minutes ago. I was just uh, doing a little other work, sending out an email. Uh, the article is done on Article Forge. Uh, definitely, if it takes uh, for 1,500 words, it took about um, five to 10 minutes. I'm totally cool with that. Um, it's not taking an hour, and it's never taken an hour for Article Forge. Um, that's about as long as you'll you'll wait is up to 10 minutes for your article. Um, we're gonna go click and see the result over here on Article Forge, and we can come through here. And it also, it doesn't have the, um, it would be nice if they just put a little thing right here that says how much content is actually on here. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this. And I must not have that extension anymore that says how many words. So I'm just gonna copy this, open up Word and paste in here to see what uh, how many words this was. You can see over here, 1,609 words, 1,609 words. Uh, so 109 words more than what they that they said 1500 words right so you're getting a really nice chunky article here um, and that's really cool so let's go back we'll just go back into the software to check it out so how to make money as a gamer step by step I like how it um, acts automatically um, titled that that might be different than um, how to make money as a gamer step by step and my keyword was how to make money as a gamer. So how to make money as a gamer and then how to make money as a gamer is still in there, but then they added step-by-step step, and those are nice triggers for uh, rank, when you rank in the top 10. Some people might be inclined to click on those because you're saying step-by-step. Step. So uh, you can start making money as a gamer through various methods, including selling products on eBay or, or YouTube, writing video game guides, and even getting an internship. But if you're unsure of how to start, you'll find this article helpful in this article. I'll walk you through the process step by step, including the steps to set up your YouTube account and blah, blah, blah. So selling on eBay, uh, if you're looking for an easy way to make money um, to do, do uh, you can sell your used games on eBay. So um, this kind of went in a little bit different direction. We probably wouldn't be able to use this unless we were actually talking about how to make money selling video games. But this was supposed to be make make money as a gamer. This is this should be pretty specific on, you know, like the EA Sports games or YouTube. So uh, when it talks about, so writing video game guides, um, that's actually very interesting. And yes, you could make money doing that. So I like that one. Getting an internship. Um, these programs are usually low paying temporary jobs. Video games also provide a unique opportunity network, blah, blah, blah. Okay, getting a Twitch channel. So this is very relevant to, uh, uh, you can make money as a gamer on Twitch. So I like that. And starting a blog as a gamer. So actually this came up with some pretty good ideas. Um, you be the judge. Uh, so one, two, three, four, uh, five. So I had five headlines. The only one that I probably wouldn't use is the selling video games on eBay because you're not really a gamer in order to do that. But you'd probably have to be a gamer um, to write good video game guides and to get an internship. You'd have to be really good into uh, gaming. Uh, get, you'd be streaming on Twitch to make money as a gamer. And then um, if you're a gamer, why not uh, write, a, write a blog and do reviews on video games and such? So um, it, it, neither one of them went in depth on um, actually actual YouTube uh, making money on YouTube specifically. So um, I would probably use one of the softwares to specifically say making money as a gamer with YouTube. Um, and then we'd add that into the content. So um, overall, I don't think that one is higher quality than the other. Um, you guys be the judge. Please comment below. If you made it this far in the video, say I made it to the end. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching the whole video. I know I make longer videos than a lot of other um, content reviewers, software reviewers out there, but I like to go into depth so you guys can really see the software firsthand and kind of just see my thoughts as I'm navigating through and seeing uh, some of this stuff for the first time. You guys can see it in real time, right? That my videos are not scripted. I'm just just right here working and recording uh, in front of you guys. So um, I, I, if I had to make a call on quality, I would say it's a tie. 
Um, maybe just the way the content um, rolls out, maybe wordplay would have an edge, but um, I, I don't think that it's, it's not too noticeable. I guess I could go do a copyscape check as well, but I think um, I'm, I'm very confident both of them are going to pass. So all in all, let's go and pull up our little chart here. So quality, I'm going to say uh, it's a tie. Uh, speed, you know, honestly, because I've used wordplay now three times and two of the times were just horrible on the timing. And then this time it was lightning fast. I can't just give wordplay. I'd have to sit here and do multiple tests. Also, you have to keep in mind that Article Forge did 1600 words in about, I'm just going to say about seven minutes while um, the other article, they did less than what they were supposed to do. And they only gave us 700 words, but it did do it in about, you know, 20 seconds or something like that. So I'm going to say, um, hmm, that's that's tough. But at this point, I'm going to say tie. Um, if I had to actually make a call right here, I would actually give it to Article Forged, uh, believe it or not. Uh, features um, Article Forge wins on that as well. Uh, so if you just go with the two ties here, Article Forge definitely wins on pricing and definitely wins on uh, features. Uh, Article Forge, uh, if you just do the math, Article Forge is the more seasoned software. Um, and I would it, trust Article Forge uh, and the company more than I would Wordplay, being that you can't rem you can't uh, rule out that Wordplay suddenly uh, was kicked off app sumo something happened guys um obviously um and you know what i just emailed my affiliate manager for app sumo to see if i can get some information for you guys i like to share if i'm allowed to um what happened or just why there, why we, we weren't warned why there was not a countdown and why there's a 404 error on the page um you know maybe if it was a mis if it's a mistake then i'm alerting them and then they can get the software back up but being that uh, we're seeing wordplay doing a lot of uh fishy things right now they're they've they sent me an email um as an to sign up as an affiliate directly with them they're kicked off of app sumo and they have launched their own lifetime deal on their on their website right um, it tells me that uh, they probably um, something happened and they were probably let go from AppSumo. So all in all, and, and some of you have tried this out and everything, um, it's just not really a, a company that I would trust and I would give give my money to right now when their servers aren't working and the speed isn't fast and you don't know what they're going to do from month to month. So overall, if you guys asked me which one I would recommend, it would be Article Forge. I will leave a link below to Article Forge. Um, and I guess I, I could throw in a word play. I'm not an affiliate directly with them, um, but you guys can go and sign up with them. I'll, but I'll leave a link to article forge below. So that is my comparison between wordplay and article forge. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did and you're not subscribed, please subscribe so we can grow the channel more. We can reach more people. So more people can see, uh, these reviews and make informed decisions about their business before having to go and actually sign up and spend their own money on the software. So until next time, take care guys.